All right, what's up coach? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a sports coach, you're looking to grow your business, make sure to hit the subscribe button on this channel. If you track this channel, I mean, we have over 500 something videos at this point. Um, I've been uploading every single day for the last, I think, month. Um, and hopefully the content has been uh, relevant for you and your business and hopefully it's helping. But make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're brand new here. And uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something that's gonna make you really think about you, your business, and your clients, and we're gonna get straight into it. All right, so over the past, you know, at this point, I've been talking to coaches for five, six years now. Um, I have calls every single day except on the weekends with coaches. And I have heard some just wild stories uh, between coaches and their clients. Um, and it got me thinking, you know, like a lot of coaches will get on a call with me and they'll be like, yeah, you know, my clients will cancel 30 seconds before the session or my clients owe me a bunch of money or my clients paid me $23 in cash instead of $25. Uh, I've heard a lot of stories, uh, as you can probably imagine, if I'm talking to coaches every day. And one thing that it's made me realize, because I thought back to a lot of the crazy stories I was involved with with previous clients, um, it made me realize, you know what, like the only reason why someone has crazy stories, uh, it's because of who they attract into their business. And what I've noticed a lot in my business over the past couple of years is I have a lot less crazy stories because I changed how I operate my business. And back in the day, it was like the Wild West. When I was running my business, it was like peop, like clients could do literally whatever they wanted. They could show up and not pay. Uh, I mean, I remember there was a time where I ran a clinic. And I'm still mad about this, right? But I ran a clinic, this was like 10 years ago. Uh, and there were three parents who paid and I sent out a newsletter saying, this is where we're doing it. This is the link to register. Had everything how I thought. I thought it was set up, um, but it wasn't set up right. Um, and there was like seven parents who literally just showed up that were part of my email list or they heard about it. And they dropped their kids off and they left. And I was too nice back then. And I trained those kids and should have collected because I think the clinic was $100 per person. It was like a three-hour thing. I lost $700 that day because I was too nice, right? And at the end of the day, like, yeah, the, those are bad parents. Like, that, that shouldn't happen. Like, no normal parent should do that. Like, that, that's awful. But the thing is, is like, I attracted those people into my life. And at the end of the day, it's not their fault. It was my fault. And once I started to tighten things up within my business, those stories of like, oh, I can't believe my clients did this, those started to shrink. And I can think of now, like, you know, over the last couple of years, of course, there's, there's going to be problems with clients. Like, that's normal. It's natural with any business. It doesn't matter. But you'll get a lot less of those when you clearly define who you want to work with and you clearly define the standards that you want to set with clients. Because a bad client is never going to join your business if you have really high standards in the first place, if your standards suck, you're going to attract a lot, a lot of low quality clients. Right. And I tell coaches this all the time in my program. It's like, ultimately the, the people that you attract into your program, they're a reflection of you. So if you have really terrible clients, normally it's, it's a coach who's really disorganized. They don't have any standards. They're letting, I don't know, like, the, the way that their clients treat them, that's how they would treat any other business. Um, and so, you know, your clients are a direct reflection of who you are. And those clients can be A players, meaning they get it. They're on time. They're not messing around with the payments. Uh, if someone misses a session, they're not crying about getting a, a private one-on-one -on -one makeup session with you if they're part of your group program. Uh, they're not asking for refunds. Like if you want A players, you have to change who you are. And that's just straight up. Like there, there's nothing else I can say about that other than 
you have to attract the type of client that you want, but you have to change and be that person, right? And that was something that took me years to figure out. But once I figured it out, I was like, man, like I have a lot less crazy stories to share because I'm not dealing with those types of clients anymore because I had to change. So I hope this helps. You know, if, if you're running in a bunch of problems with your business, first check yourself. Like, what are you doing wrong? Like, do you even have standards in place? Who are you attracting into your program? Are you just allowing anyone to join your program just because you want money? Like, normally, if, if you run your business that way, you're going to fail. So quickest way to failure in this business is by working with bad clients because as a coach, you don't enjoy working with those clients. That's number one. Number two, they're not going to pay you. Bad clients don't pay. <laughs> right? There, there's no other way I can explain it other than they're not going to pay you. They're going to miss payments. They're not going to take you serious. They're not going to have skin in the game. And when you decide to make that change, your whole business changes like very quickly when you decide, all right, I'm going to raise my expectations. I'm going to raise my standards. And only you get to decide to do that which is my favorite thing about business is like I could take any competitor in my city. If they don't have high expectations the way that I do, they're going to train all the crappy clients. I'm going to train all the best clients. <laughs> like you see how that works. It's pretty simple. Like if my expect, if my expectations are low with clients, I'm going to have a miserable business. It's going to suck. I'm going to wake up every day to problems. All right. I'm going to have all these crazy stories about my clients who aren't paying. They're showing up late. Like, that stuff can stop happening when you take charge. That's it for today's video. If you wanna ramp up your business, you want to create like a system within your business so you attract the right types of clients, right? Text me at 210-960-5771 or just go apply for our program. You can go to the first link in the description. You can apply for it right there. It takes five, six minutes to watch a video. Uh, you set up a Zoom call with me and I'll learn more about your business. Uh, and you know what? I have zero problem saying this. Most coaches who apply for my program are not going to get into my program if they're not a good fit. What I'm saying to you right now applies to my consulting program with coaches too. Like I'm not going to let anyone join my program if they're not a good fit. <laughs> All right. That's it. Hopefully this helps. And uh, hopefully this gets you to look at your business and look at yourself and check yourself because when you do that you make good improvements with your business all right catch you later